Hi, I'm Dan Rosenstark with MIDI Designer and I'm going to be talking about Snap2 Default, which is a new feature in version 1.3.6. I've got a knob here called One Shot Pitch and that controls the pitch of a sample. Let's hear what that sounds like. I'm going to unmute the sample. Sounds like that. And here's the pitch. Okay. One of the things that you always get in MIDI Designer with knobs, sliders, and crossfaders is uh, the ability to reset the default by doing a triple tap. So I'm going to just show that. Unmute. One, two, three. We're back. Now I'm going to show how to enable Snap to default. I'm going to go to More, get into Design Mode. Let's look at this control. So I double tap on that control and I go into the advanced properties. Okay. Now here, the snap to default value is none and any other value aside from none will give us a snap to default. So I'm going to bring it up to uh, 100 milliseconds to start and I'm going to uh, tap out and then I'm going to exit design mode. So now what will happen is it will return to the default value in that amount of time. Now, of course, the times get larger and uh, we can do lots of other things. One of the most interesting ways to do this is by doing it via super controls. So I'm just going to take these sliders here. This is EX1 and EX2. I'm going to take EX1 and I'm going to define it as a super control of one shot pitch, first of all. So I double tap it, go into relationships, super control, and now in its sub controls, drag to the sub control, which now shows up here as one shot pitch. I'm going to go back to the properties. We're still in the properties of EX1. And uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make this one snap to default value over uh, four seconds. And at the same time, I'm going to do something else, which is change the number of ticks. This is the number of values that it crosses uh, from minimum to maximum which will also affect the snap to default. So if I take the number of ticks and I drop it down, I'm um, just going to bring it down to something a little bit lower. Uh, some, let's do 9 and hit apply. Tap out, exit design mode, and now what you'll see, it's got the same default value as this, but it's going to return in a different amount of time and over a different number of ticks. Shut off mute. Okay. And um, here we're going to do something just slightly different with EX2, which is we're going to uh, first make it a super control. And it's going to be a super control of one shot pitch. And then I'm going to give it a different default value. So I go into its MIDI values, and its default value, instead of being 64, I'm just going to make it. Um, Let's make it 32. And going into its advanced properties, changing snap to default value to 8 seconds. And now I'm going to exit design mode. And now what I get is this type of thing. <laughs> Now the interesting thing is that if I were to bring this a short distance up, it would travel that short distance in that number of seconds. So and you can do other things by messing with two super controls. 
triple tap, returns to default. So there, there are a lot of possibilities that you can play with. Um, so that was snap to default. Um, I hope you like the basic functionality that I've provided. Um, this is obviously going to advance moving forward as I hear from users as to where they want it to go and as I uh, make decisions as to how I want to develop it. Uh, for now, I hope you've enjoyed um, seeing how return to default works or snap to default works. And uh, please send me any questions that you have to uh, questions at mididesigner.com. Thanks a lot for your time and thanks for checking out MIDI Designer.